Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, people are gonna start coming in here. So I'm trying to kind of make some room here because I know it's gonna get cuckoo crazy. Hey Judy. I'm pretty sure. All right. These are the what you're seeing on the screen right now are the textured papers that we um, made yesterday, and they came out kind of fun. Oh wow! Hi, CB. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Josie. Teresa. Ian. Christy. Vicky. Wow, Mindy. Norma. Dorothy. So yeah, this is um. This is what we did yesterday. I'll pull out a little bit so maybe you can see all of them. It's weird. Camera to go one way. Ugh. Yeah, that's better. Um, hi, Joan. Picola. Oops, lock in my chat. You have the bibs in the house. Chat sucks on your phone. Chat sucks on every phone. <laughs> I don't ever watch videos on my phone. Drives me crazy. Hi, Sharon. So anyway, when Eileen gets here, she's going to um, tell us what to do with these. Uh, this is the one I photographed um, and put on Twitter yesterday. This one actually, um, I said it was the spa, but it actually was the coffee. And it still smells really good. So, and this one came out kind of dark. I used, um, what was it? Oh, the Liquitex transparent burnt sienna on it. And then the rest of them, I'll, I'll say it in just a minute. Okay, Lane. hi, Lane. Um, was it funny? I haven't watched it. I, I do try and kind of flip through some of the videos to see if the sound is good. I've had problems with some sound here and there. And, um, so, um, yeah, I haven't even flipped it on. It was so funny. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. I still have not, um, I had to clean up everything up. Right. But I didn't vacuum up the, um, eggshells off the floor yet, which sounds really piggish, but, I knew it'd be messy again today and I'd be doing it again. So I thought, why don't I just wait until afterwards and then just vacuum the whole room? There you go. So I'll flip through real quick. Um, the sound was good. Okay. Um, so she could sit in the corner and add in. There she is. Yeah, this is going to be fun, I hope. Hi, Linda. You're no longer afraid of a ruler. Yay, you. <clears throat> Yesterday, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Yeah, I'm the only Indian around here. Don't call me Pocahontas, though. <laughs> anyway, I'll flip through. This one is the coffee ground one, and I painted it first. It smells good. Can you guys see how much I'm going to try and get it? I mean, it's got a lot, a lot of texture. And things are glued down pretty good. I had a, a few little things pop off while I was painting, but for the most part, um, it stayed intact. This one is the spackling, and the paper, the watercolor paper, is still kind of damp. But that's the um, spackling, so it's really cool. I'm eager to see what we're going to do with these. This is the, and if I mess with them too much, I'll have things pop off, but that's okay. I'm going to vacuum later. This is the sand one. And it came out really cool. I mean, it's got a lot of depth. Hi, Suze. Hi, Jean. 
Hi to anybody else I missed, but yeah, that's the sand one. And that was mixed in what um, clear gesso with powder. This is the one with gauze. Is this what you guys were expecting with the gauze? Because you can see each of the individual threads and then some places it's piled up. And are these about the color you expected, Eileen? We're going to find out, Suze. Yeah, we'll probably end up making journal covers out of them or something, what I'll do with them at the end. This is the one with the thread in it, or that baker's twine. So that's kind of interesting. Um, this is the toilet paper one, and it's really got, I like it because it's a lot of um, depth. I mean, yeah, this one's really cool. And the eggshell one is really cool. This is the eggshell one, and it's also... A little damp still. I mean, this, some of this stuff was really dense on there. So I don't think it being damp will hurt anything. Hi, Jan. It's a good base color. Okay, good. What color did you color? I'll show you in just a second. Um, this is the one with the glass beads. I love the way it feels. It feels really, really cool. Those glass beads are really awesome. It feels um, more plastic than the others. It just, yeah, it feels real plastic. And then this is the pleated toilet paper one. Um, so it didn't come out exactly like I liked. I would have liked more depth at each of the pleats, but oh, who cares? We'll probably do that one first until I can follow instructions because I know me and Eileen's instructions. And it's, yeah, it never works out real well. The gauze will show the threads more when another layer of paint is added. Dry brush, not flood. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Linda. Looks like snakeskin beads. Yeah. I like the pleated one, too. All right. So um, how many in all are there? I think we ended up with nine of them. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, because this one I just did at the end. Um so let's start with the pleated one because if it goes to hell in a handbasket, nobody really cares. And what I painted the base with was um, I started out with the heavy body Liquitex Basics, Raw Sienna, and then um, some of the areas where there, it's darker or more red, kind of. You can see it on this one. I added. Um, some Liquitex transparent burnt sienna, and this is an acrylic ink transparent. So um, all it did was really add color. Um, and then I just used up, this one's empty. Um, it's like raw sienna folk art paint. And then this one, I went ahead and added some nutmeg brown um, just for some different color. Um, so that's what the base um, was painted with and I just used that scruffy old um glue brush that I use for everything that I don't want to trash out a new paintbrush that's what I used it's just a nasty old glue brush um so what are we going to use first Eileen she told me this morning to get out um the magicals some watercolor and the acrylic inks and I have some of a lot of each you can use about three colors on them you can mix and match the magical with the FW but dry between coats also you need to let some of the base color show through okay you can mix and match with the FW ink okay um well how let's pick a color and go for it um I can't show you. There's a whole drawer of FW inks here. So um, I really like these turquoise ones. Yeah, let's use a turquoise one. I don't have a real good purple in this one, but I have the Liquitex, the Deep Violet and the Liquitex. We're going to use some of my favorite colors first so I get some confidence here because I have no idea what I'm doing. 
So, and CB, jump in and keep Eileen from being too cuckoo. Get some paper towels. I have paper towels here to blot the colors off. Um, I know that poor brush is just ridiculous, isn't it? All right. Um, yeah, we'll do this one first. And I'm afraid if I dump the FW on ink on here, it's just going to absolutely absorb. But I don't know that for sure. So let's figure out. We'll do. We're going to start with blue because I love blue and brown. You can brush the colors on or drip the colors on. Okay. Maybe I don't want to use this brush. Maybe I'll put it aside. Um, this one we're going to drip it on. First of all, all right, and this is dry paper. So I'm th wondering, because magicals you normally use with water. This is going to be real absorbent. I'm just thinking this through for a second. What the hell? I'm going to go ahead and dampen it a little bit. All right, this is going to be the dark blue magicals first. Didn't use much at all. Okay, and your FW inks, you've got to shake them because they do settle. Yeah, that's what I thought, Elaine, or Eileen, you have to. I want a little bit more of that blue right maybe in the middle. And magicals don't come the way that I'm showing you. I transferred my magicals into these little shaker bottles that I got from um, Wish. Okay, and she's saying dry between the colors or I make it mud. Yep. Yeah, this won't take long. Probably good enough for the magicals. The magicals, if they're totally dissolved, are permanent, so they shouldn't move. Maybe I should brush this on. Need my rag. Maybe I'll pull you guys down a little closer. So here you go, going for a ride so you can see it maybe a little bit better as I'm working on it. Need a lot of color, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start with just three colors. The dark blue, the turquoise, and the purple. Um, Oh, I watered that down maybe too much. I did, I did.
I'm going to add some magicals too. The purple is a little scary, but let's use it. I'm nervous. I know how this purple gets. That's part of the reason I'm nervous. You can add more later. The magicals aren't really moving that much, Eileen. I know I have a good turquoise, so. I might like the magicals on these better because I like how that dark blue is looking. There we go. Now it's looking better. And still even some of the other um, poking through. Hi, Katrina. Anybody I might have missed coming in? We're just playing, Joey. That is odd that they are not moving like they normally do. I know. I know. They might move differently. Now, keep in mind, this is a real absorbent surface, Eileen. Or, yeah. Um, on the beads, they may behave totally, totally different. But I have the watercolors, too. More water. Um, I'm not sure more water is going to help. Um, but I can, and I will use the paintbrush for this. Um, Let's see, I've got a really, really pretty turquoise. Third one in. And I'm using the Daniel Smith watercolors that my niece got me. Um, I'm just splattering the um, turquoise watercolor on. I don't want to cover it too much, though. Because I like the brown. Hi, Lynn. Okay, maybe that's a good way to do it, is put the watercolor where I want it and then it. Because what I really wanted was some of these pleats to really, really show up. That is showing really yellow. There, I think that's a more accurate um, depiction of the colors. They're still a little bit lighter. Um, I'll work in the dark. I don't care. Add a little bit more of the purple. Not a lot, though. Is this what you were expecting, Eileen? I actually like it. It's really pretty. It's stopping. I'm going to dry it real quick. And the white in the some of the magical powders, I've said this again and again. Hi, Karen. Um, do not dissolve real readily. So um, that's why you see the white in places. But I kind of like that. I wouldn't mind if it would stay. The problem with that is, though, when it gets re-wet, that will have a tendency to want to um, move. Again, the color should blend. Not so much. If this is absorbent, I mean, um, so next we'll do like the beads um, because that is not going to absorb like this toilet paper one. So this may have been a bad one to start with. Yeah, mad scientist for sure. Okay. 
looking. The bright actually makes it look like glitter. I'm going to add just a hair more. Where did I? Oh, you guys, I can't be in the dark. Sorry. Um, of the navy over here in the corner. Sometimes I can see better looking in the camera than I can um, looking at the actual piece itself. And I'm going to set this one aside and let it dry to get it to really mix. See, now the white is starting to dissolve a little bit. All right, we're just going to set this one aside and let it dry. See what happens. One thing about the Magicals on absorbent paper is as they dry, they really change. Um, what you thought you and were going to get is not at all what you end up with. So, all right, let's do one that's not going to be that absorbent now. This is the beads, and it's kind of got a buckle in it. So, I think I'm going to let the buckle go this way rather than this way because if I let it be a cup it's going to um everything's going to want to run to the middle so um pick me some colors what colors do you guys want to see I know Jean isn't that funny but you know me I just I grumble the whole time she's bossing me around but then at the end of the day I always love it hi Kathy I'm being brave. I'm being brave. But we have, you know, like a ton of colors to work with. So just name out some colors that are going to blend well. So think of the color wheel. Don't, you know, like we can't put yellow and purple because when they blend, they're going to make an ugly, ugly brown or gray. Um, yellow, green, blue all mix well. Anything close to each other on the color wheel is going to work well. And nobody's knowing me, I'm going to like the earthy colors. So we're going to use green on this one. Um, that's a lime. Maybe we'll use the avocado green. Or Cerise is going to be more of a turquoisey. Um, do I have? Um, Prussian blue. Let me check. I got a lot of those FW inks. I did not get them all. Um, I got processed cyan, and I got a lot of the Bombay inks as well. Um, and I need a magnifying glass to see these. Yeah, can't see that one, but it is a, I don't think I'm looking here and I don't think I did. There's turquoise. I've got the blue Bombay inks. The process cyan is really a pretty blue. Um, Cerulean blue is really pretty too. We might use that one. It's a lighter blue than with what I use. But this one is the turquoise. It is very pretty as well. I didn't get the Prussian, I guess. But we've got a lot of blues to pick from, so that's no worries there. Um, and the other... Some of these are India ink. They're not acrylic. Um... Yep, this is the green we're going to use. All right, now this is um, bead gel medium, so it is almost entirely acrylic. It's going to um, try and cover the whole sheet and let the let's do that in one that has good cracks, Eileen. Um, a lot of good for that. Because it's got a lot, a lot of depth. This one, I'm not sure. Can we do the turquoise? Try and cover the whole sheet. All right. 
we're just going to go for it. I'm wondering, I think I'll do the inks first. I'm going to drop it directly on. I got to make sure I've shaken it well, though, because they do. Um, they do settle real, real bad. So like this blue and this turquoise are going to look really pretty together. And your cracks. <laughs> and this is acrylic ink. So we'll add this and then we'll spray it. Let them mix. Yeah, now this is pretty. And this one, the paint's probably going to seep down, and the beads are going to show. We're going to add some of this purple, too. Come on. Try painting it on. I can do that. Let me blow it real quick. Dry it. I am going to actually blot some of this off. I don't like that one great big blue blot. What are you making? We're ultimately probably going to, there'll be um, journal covers. Making the substrate yesterday was fun, though. I have to say that. And being acrylic, this won't take but a minute to dry. I like the dark green for sure. I'm not sure I'm crazy about that blue. Um. All right, I'm going to add some of the, let's see which one is. Just a little bit of a darker blue. Add some darker blue. You're reading my mind, Sharon. That's what I was just going to do. I like where the beads pop through. Um, in the original color. There, like that. And it only happens when it's a little bit watered down. All right, and while it's wet, I'm going to add some of this lighter green. You like it brushed on? I'm going to have to dry again here in a minute, but I 
All right. Yeah, I like the lighter green added to it. So there we go. The paper towel is going to be really pretty. And this looks a lot brighter on screen than it is. Let me turn that off so you guys can kind of see. And the colors kind of moved in, in the swirls, obviously. And I'm not liking that blue there at all, so I'm taking it out. Yeah, that's better. This lighting, uh, I think what I'm going to do is try and leave that lighting on so I can see and maybe shut the window blind. That may be the ticket right there. I think that's it. I'm going to have to just keep the sunlight out when I'm streaming. It does look like snake skin in places. Hi, Galena. Where did I put it? Ah, knucklehead. Here we go. Putting things away before I'm even done with them. We're going to do one with some reds and yellows, too. I'm going to... I'm thinking the dry brush, I'm going to like the dry brush to hit the tops of them, um, but I want a different brush to do that with. Um, I have another, yeah, this will be a good one. It's kind of like my glue brush before it became a glue brush. But this may work good for the, the tops. I think I use this. I don't remember which one I use now. This one will work. It'll be okay. When you say dry brush, it doesn't mean really dry brush. Don't ever put your brush that's first and then dry it. And maybe just a paper towel or something. I like this over here, how it kind of just organically spread itself. I like that a lot. And I'm not sure now. A lot of this is going to be dry and being acrylic should not move. But we're going to spread it with water just because we can. Because if we have to, we could start the entire thing over. Okay. It's not moving a whole lot. Um, I like it, though. It's really pretty. The colors are really, really, really rich, for sure. I am going to dry this one. It's weird how different the two are.
I think on some of them, Eileen, I'm going to um, want to go back in with um, like gold or something and just hit the highlights. Um, some of that, um, what was it? Dina Wakely, gold. All right. We're going to save eggshells. Eggshells. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. We got acrylic ink spilled. Hang on, got a mess here, got to clean it up. That's what I get for not covering the tops. I know better. Hang on, it's going to be easier to clean from the other side, I think. And it got on one of the substrates, so that color will definitely be used on that substrate. No, it won't. I know what I'll do. We'll give it a rinse. There you go. Bye-bye, blue paint. All right. Wasn't a complete disaster. Thank God for paper towel. Whoever invented paper towel deserves all the kudos in the world, man. Remind me to close the ink bottles. All right. Got blue on me. <laughs> gotta clean it up while it's still wet acrylic if it dries it's permanent that's it you're living with it for the rest of your life and it did not get off on the table so it stayed right on the craft mat so that's a good thing do whatever you want it's up to me now okay I can't believe she said that in a minute she's gonna be bossing me around again let me move this one. I'm going to save that eggshell one, though, until I feel like I have more experience. I am a mess. Are you kidding me? No worries. It's going to be cleaned up here in about half an instant. Got a little bit on my magical bottle. Okay, all cleaned up. Disaster averted. All right, let's do the one with the string next. What colors you guys want? Hi, Ange. This probably may. Give me some colors that you guys want to see on this string one. Now, this is the one that CB told me, use a dry brush and paint over the top of it. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's what she said. CB, are you listening? You're on lunch. Gold and garnet. Okay. Hmm. Garnet is um, a dark red, so let's see what we've got in dark red. I'm not sure. I definitely have watercolors that are dark red, so I'll have to use watercolors. Oh, wait, what's this one? Cherry red. That's not going to work. Um, magenta. Let's see what we got. Watercolors. Garnet is kind of a magenta. It's purplish red. Um, purple, purple, and more purple. You are a purple freak, Galena. Gold. Well, I'm going to put gold. I'm going to highlight some of them with gold after they dry. So. Um, Uh, 
I didn't get out any of the acrylic paints. Let's see what we got. Oh, I've got the Prima paints here. I know there's a couple of really nice darker reds in those. I have been loving my new Prima paints. By the way, I got the Woodlands and the Odyssey. Um, and I'm loving them. And what made me think of it was I was thinking of that in the Odyssey. So I think I will use that red. Um, but the Rome is really pretty too. I love this set. The and Debbie Epps said I would. Um, dark red with a little orange highlight. Okay, yeah, that's why I was thinking this Rome. This Rome is really, these are all really, really earthy colors. Um, and they named them after places. So it's called Rome, but it's a really, really dark, dark red. So let me um, make some of that. Rome and gold. All right, let me find. Well, I could get out. I mean, if you guys want like real gold, gold, I could get out the fine text because those bad boys will knock your eyeball out gold let me see here's the fine tag um all right that actually does sound pretty joicy here's the fine text watercolors and every one of them is just gorgeous so doesn't matter which one you use here's the i think this swatch is in here I did on black. There's all the swatches. I was, I swatched using lettering. Um, we might use that gold pearl. That's the fourth one in. So, okay. We got a plan. We got a plan. Spraying them with water to soften them. I'll end up having to probably get some clean water. All right, here's the Rome. Okay, and I think this is kind of what CB was talking about, is just kind of dry brush it over the top. Is this what you were talking about, CB? It's getting in the purple next door. And do we need a third color here? Where we came in whilst I was having dinner. Oh, okay. She's talking about Angie's insurance. Yeah, Cobra can be really pricey. Really, really pricey. But if that's all you can get, it's probably still better than going out on your own. And if you, at the very least, Angie, get major medical. Man, it's hard to see. I think I want another color with this. I'm just not sure what. If I want to add some of that purple. Let me over, do it over here in the edge and see. I think I am going to add some of that purple too. Gray and umber. Let's 
Now I'm scared to pick up these darn ink bottles. <laughs> Kind of hard to paint because of the texture itself and i am adding a little bit of that purple so and then i'll go over the the tops with the actually if i'm going to do that i want to use the crap brush i do not want to trash out one of my brand new round brushes so hi paula Uh-oh, Paula's grumpy pants. Okay, I'm going to go in here and scrub a little bit. There we go. That's better. I might do one with a, a lot of brown in it too. All right, Eileen's saying it's looking good. So you have to get up at three in the morning now. Oh my God. Boy, I don't know. I admire you people who... <laughs> Still have to do that stuff. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go ahead and darken all the edges on this one. With the Liquitex, I don't know what color it is. It's more of a red-purple than, than what I've added in here a few places. Did you end up getting the Prima Odyssey watercolors? I just got mine this week, and I'm really loving these. How did that? I must have bumped the camera in all the ink debacle because the camera was like practically sideways. Sorry, you guys. This one's really looking pretty though. I think it needs more dark though. So I'll add more of the purple. I'm really gonna have a serious cleanup going on. All right, and I'm going to go right over the top with the gold. Um, probably with the other paintbrush. brush. 
I'm asking you, Eileen. You're the boss. All right, getting some of this gold moving here now. So, what did Paula say? I was thinking the same thing, Shirley. I was asking you about the Odyssey Primas. That's the one. If that's what you're talking about, um, I was asking you if you got the Odyssey Prima paints. See, I'm adding the gold now, and I'm wondering if I should let it dry. Um, I think the gold will show up a lot, lot better. Um, if I let, let it dry first. And I actually could use the gold um, acrylic paint. Because this one is really pretty right now, I think. And see, like, this string is still movable. Most of them are stuck down pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I'm, or I actually do have, I think, I hadn't thought of that. Um, I have some treasure gold. Yeah, I have some, I think. I'm going to look. I hope it's not dried up. But in this one, you can't, you guys can't really see. Let me try this, put myself in the total dark. <laughs> it's pretty dark. I don't like there where you can see the white though. So what color do I want to stick in there? Yeah, I'm liking them. I am going to, like, I don't know where, oh, up there, I could see the, the white of the paper. I use the dark purple. All right, it's right up here. And honestly, my camera's there. I mean, I'm hitting it with the, Paintbrush. There we go. That's better. And if I'm going to do that, I kind of want to add some dark down around the string so that the gold, when I put it on, really pops up. Not too much, but I want the gold to really pop out. And it'll dry lighter than it's looking right now, so no worries there. That Rome red is really pretty. All right, I still want to leave the background showing. And on the um, camera, it looks like a lot more of the background is showing through than it is. You did buy new watercolors. You got 48 half pans set made by Medine, cheap student grade, and that travel set that fans saw. I think the only thing I've gotten is the two sets of Primas. All right, we're going to set that one and let it dry, and then I'm going to use some something, um, probably one of the golds that you can rub on. I think I'm going to use that because that, but these may still work. All right, 
we're going to do the, I think you want to do the toilet paper next. Now this one, this one I would really like, um, this one has a lot, a lot of dimension. And I'd like some darker brown um, down in the crevices. Um, so I'm hoping I can cover the whole thing with, say, a dark brown. I could do that actually with this Odyssey set. I could do that because I've got that Jordan dark, dark brown right here. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to cover the whole thing with dark brown and try and get down into the crevices really, really good. Um, do the toilet paper and make a journal with it and send it to Denise. I could do that. All right, we're going to use the dark, dark brown on here. I'm going to cover the whole, whole thing. Because this looks pretty dark brown. And then wipe it off. So it only stays down in the crevices. Actually, um, Eileen, if I'm going to do that, I think what I'd like to do is actually plan out. I mean, this is just, what did we say, four and a half by six, because it was a quarter sheet of the um, watercolor paper. Um, I probably would plan out a journal size that would actually be more usable for her, because she's not, she wouldn't use it, I don't think, for necessarily art. And then get some nice paper to put in in it for her. Tomoe River paper. Ooh, yum. I don't know if they make Tomoe River paper lined. I may have to check into that. How come I don't know that? I should know that. All right. Doesn't that look lickable? All right, now I'm going to lightly go over it. Um, it looks, the light is not showing it exactly like it looks. So I'm going to lightly wipe some of that off. But just try and keep the brown down in the creases. I like the brown the best so far, you guys. Like that brown is delicious looking. I might want to do one with entirely dark blue this same way because the blue and the brown will be so pretty together. Hi, Brenda. I say to my river paper and look who pops up, Brenda, with her fountain pens and traveler's notebooks. I do like the Tomoe paper, though. I will say that. To write on, oh, my God, it's so yummy. Yeah, now this one's starting to look like somebody who even has a clue what the hell they're doing actually did it. <laughs> For real. Um. Okay, I'm going to dry between the layers because I don't want that to move now. I want that to stay just like it is. Yep. 
Yeah, I love my tamoe too. It does get easier. Yeah, I, maybe it's intimidation. I'm not sure, Eileen, but yeah, I agree with you. All right, hang on. Heat gun. Yeah, this one is way cool. Um, surprised about yesterday when I had so much moisture on this paper I thought oh this is gonna buckle so bad this is not going to be usable it is toilet paper Paula in um, gesso that I've thickened with baby powder um, but I thought oh these papers are gonna be so buckled they're never gonna be usable but for whatever reason like now they've kind of mellowed out and they're laying flat pretty good. And honestly, I think I like the watercolor on them better. Um, maybe I feel like I have more control or something. Plus, I have a much better selection of colors. Oh, I could use some of those um, Daniel Smith Primatex on them and get some like real crystals going on. We're going to do that. And as I heat it, I can smell the baby powder. It shouldn't move now. One of these, well, absolutely. You get your paper out, you get your toilet paper out, and make them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm being a smart ass, um, Sharon. Knowing me, I don't keep a lot of my art, so chances are, after I figure out a design for a journal cover, these will become giveaways. Stupid question How did the toilet paper get <laughs> I colorized it with um, raw sienna, um, Liquitex Basics, I used transparent burnt sienna. I just used some different products and um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that should be dry enough. I don't think, of course, watercolor, the nature of watercolor is when you introduce more water, um, it's going to want to move, right? It's not, um, it's not permanent. So that's another consideration at this point. Anything I put on top, the move. Um, so that is a yes, maybe yes. My guess is, Sharon, these will actually become. I will turn them into real journals and um, give them away. I'll keep one for myself. I generally do that. But as a rule, I pretty much give every, everything I make, I give away. I had a, um, it's been years now. Some days it feels like yesterday. But um, I had a flood in my basement. Um, literally, well, it's been a few years ago. And I had all my artwork down there in cardboard boxes. I don't know why. It was stupid. And Somebody should kick my ass for doing that, but I did. And I lost the bulk of every art I ever made. And I was heartbroken. I mean, I cried and it just, oh, it wrecked me for days. And then after it kind of settled out and I got the basement all cleaned up and it was like starting with a new canvas. I didn't have any of that old stuff to worry about. Um. And it felt very cleansing. It really did. I'm not going to lie to you. And ever since then, 
I do not have, well, I have more of an aversion to keeping things. Um, so that's why I give away almost everything I make. Um, and maybe it's because I don't ever want to have that feeling again. I'm not sure what the motivation there is. But, yeah, that's why I pretty much give everything away. I remember one feeling so heartbroken when it was all gone. And then I remembered how good it felt when I realized I never have to deal with that junk again. And I lost, it wasn't just my artwork. It was, um, I lost two of my grandmother's quilts. Um, I lost some other really sentimental um, things in that flood. So, yeah, I, I'm not a keeper anymore. I'm really not. I mean, I'm a keeper of art supplies, but um, yeah, after it kind of settled in and I was okay with the loss, eh, so it's all good. Well, I wish I had my swatches of these so I knew what color I wanted to put on it I kind of want to put I I went ahead these are the prima Techs that I have the greens and the blues that my niece got me um I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use if I want to go green or if I want to go I think I want to go that shimmery blue I really do Take pics. Yeah, Josie, maybe that's what it is. Take pics and, and then let it go. Um, all right, this is it. It's kind of a gray blue. Let me spray it again. Um, yeah, it's kind of a gray blue. We're going to put some of this on. And Koo, if you watch this, thanks again. I'm loving these and I'm having a ton of fun with them. Oh, it's too thin. All right, let me move it out a little bit. So... Well, it's kind of one of those stories after you after you kind of accept the loss, you you see the good that can come from a bad thing. I'm not sure how well this is going to. Not exactly what I was thinking. Uh. I think the blue is not dark enough, but you can. I can see the sparkle. I'm not sure if you guys can. And the thing is, if I want this off, I can yank it off right in a minute. And again, this one will also look really good with the gold. So, and I'm just barely hitting the high spots. This is probably the one I will keep, actually. I'll have to make Denise. Well, I'm going to, if I'm going to make one for Denise, which I think would really be funny. Um, and I think most of you know why Denise and toilet paper is funny. Um, can you guys see? Dark and the light and you can really see the dark down in the crevices. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to put too much on. Um, 
I'm going to draw it real quick. And then I'm going to look for, I think I know where they are, but I'm going to look for some of those pastes that you rub on that are shiny a little bit. Um, Viva, I think is who makes them. Have to turn off computer storms here. Oh, bye, Lynette. Good luck with your storm. Have a great day. Let me draw it real quick. Won't take but a minute. I can see a little bit of it sparkling in that. Another one would look really good with green on it, like a um, rust patina. Yeah, that's not going to move now. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I think I know exactly where it is. Here we go. We've got Inca gold. We've got Inca red. We've got Inca every color. Let's see if they're dried out. This is the um, old silver. I haven't used these in forever. Um, I think I could wet them and um, get them working. They're not hard as a rock, so um, I think they're revivable. And here's the actual Inca gold. This is yellow gold. This one, I think I've had the lar longest. This one, I'm not sure if it's salvageable. I hate that. I hate buying art supplies. And then, of course, this one, you know what? This one's got half in it because I gave half of it to Elaine. Um, I'm going to add water in it. Of course, I've used well water. So that might be a moldy ass mess here in a while. Inca gold is crappy stuff. Get some fins rubs if you want good stuff. I almost bought some the other day. Um, I've got the gold leaf, um, the precious metals gold leaf as well. Um, this is probably the one that's going to work the best, honestly. Of course, I can't, oops, can't get the lid off of it yeah this one has water still in it so all i gotta do is um stir it so that's cool and got some on my hands want to get it off because it is sticky all right I hadn't thought of these Inca colors for a while. I will leave those out so I mess with them later. And if they're dried up, they're going to go in the trash. Um, hang on. I'm wiping this Inca off my pants. I got a little bit on my pants. All right. I'm going to use this Inca gold, this one. Got to stir it up. Where's a good stir stick? And this is thin enough. I can apply it much like paint. It's not going to be a, a paste. Did you get some Rhea Reese rub-ons? I did not, Lynn. Um, I saw them but I didn't get them. I got a couple of the texture paste, um, but I will, I don't have a problem saying flat out, I'm not a huge fan. Um, the one thing I did like that I got of the Bria Reese products were the inks in the little plastic bottles. I like those and I've used those much like watercolor. Um, so, yeah, um, but overall, I would say I was not overly impressed with the Breweries product. Sorry, add water to it, roll your container, roll your finger in it until it may need more water. What now? All right, what are you talking about, Suzanne, the um, 
reviving the Inca golds. Oh, I think most of them are soft enough. I Yeah, and if I put a, a fresh baby wipe back in them, um, no problem. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, see, this one is, is thin enough. I could use it just like paint. So, and it is, I think it's acrylic base. No, it's water base. Nice quickly, low odor. Okay, well, cool with that. Um, problem is the... This is not going to be usable, which is going to let air in. So I'm going to have to come up with a solution for that. I'll probably move it out of this um, container, actually. Good Lord, what a mess I am making. All right, let's get rid of the long blonde hair first. And then I'm trying to think. <coughs> what I want to put this on with um, actually a little bit of a sponge or something like that would be awesome. Let me see what I got in my applicator thing here. A uh, makeup sponge will probably work fine, right? They're about a dime a dozen around here. Let's do that. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is really pretty. Can you guys see it? Yeah, this is awesome. This is my hands down absolute favorite. The brown, the blue, and the gold. This, honest to God, is lickable. I'm going to make some more of these. We'll definitely give some of these away. And today we need to do a giveaway for the oxide ink. So um, that's not too much. Can you see how I just kind of hit the, um, the highlights? When I take a picture of this one, you'll, you'll definitely go, OMG, that is some kind of amazing. I will definitely make some more of this. Um, I will plan out an actual journal with the materials that it should be. Because really, these materials that I used, I just used some crap, 140-pound um, watercolor paper. Canson, I mean, it, it really, it's not even good, much good for practice. Um, that I've got to fix the jar. Um, but that is just... Flipping lickable. You pick whatever number random comes up with. Yeah, but we've got to do the oxide inks today too. So we've got four down. We're going to, oh, you know what? While the gold is out here, we're going to go ahead and put the gold on this red one too. <clears throat> it's not completely dry, so I'll, um, I'll dry it real, real quick. Won't take but a minute. And we'll add the gold to it while it's out. And probably what I'll do when this is all um, done, I will go ahead and seal these probably with matte medium. But before I do that, because now I've used a variety of products, some water soluble, some not, I probably will spray it with a fixative first. Um, and then go ahead and give it a good coat of matte medium so that things stay in place. That's my guess, what I'll do. This 
could use some more red. You know what? Right now, while I recognize that and I get too far into it, because if I get the gold on it, um, I don't want to have to go back and redo that. So right now, before I finish drying, see how there's a lot of red down in here? I'm going to go ahead and do some of that up here as well. Um, and maybe here in here a little bit more. Okay, that just feels a little better. It will dry lighter than it looks right now, so. All right, that should be dry enough. So still a little bit wet, but I think it'll be okay. It looks like a smash, a squash spider who lost his legs. All righty then. All right, the gold definitely helped this bad boy. Which is really weird because I am not a gold metallic sort of person. But yeah, that helped a lot. I'm going to make journal covers. Thanks, Jean. Yeah, I'll turn these um, into journal covers at some point. Um, maybe I'll have a chance to probably design them before I stream again. This week, um, the rat and I have to go to Joplin on Thursday. He has a doctor's appointment. Um, and I will be grocery shopping, but I won't be art supply shopping. Well, I may run into Tuesday morning, but um, yeah, I won't be really shopping. I'll pick up some groceries and then come home. Really, I don't have a huge desire to buy stuff right now. I don't know. Was that the gauge? 
The gauze, yeah. Yeah, this is the gauze one that I added string. You can definitely see the gauze in the background. Um, and then the, the string itself was the baker's twine that I added on top of it. And this one will be really cool when I um, seal it up with some matte medium. They'll still have texture, but, um, you know, you'll be able to feel the strings, but everything will be set really good. But yeah, that this is the gauze with the, um, the baker's twine kind of string. It's really pretty. But that brown one is definitely my favorite. All right, what else do we have? We may not get all these done today. So, oops, sorry. Um, I might have to save one for um, later in the week or save some for later in the week. This is the coffee ground one. Um, it's very peaks and it's, it's very pokey. You know, like this one, if this was a journal cover, um, you definitely wouldn't want to work right on this side of the paper because this one definitely has a lot of texture, but it's not smooth. It's very pokey kind of. The gauze would have, we did another gauze one, Eileen. Here's the, here's the gauze one. We did another gauze one. This one's not even dry yet from yesterday. It's still pretty damp, but we're going to work on it anyway. Yeah, and then this is the coffee ground one. Let's do this one with um, like a solid background of a really, really pretty dark green. Let me see what I've got in the Prima paints. I know there's one green that is just so yummy. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. It's probably, well, the, the Jane Davenport Glitz C has a lot of really pretty greens in it. Um, I was thinking like a real dark, yummy green, like one of those two. <clears throat> Probably either the Enchantress or the Lorelei, one of these two here. Maybe the Enchantress, but the Lorelei definitely has more green. It's more greenish. Let's do the Lorelei and do it. Um, much like, well, wait a minute. I'm going to save this one. We're going to do the green in either this one. I don't know. The gauze one with the green would be really cool too. And do much the same as I did with the brown. Only the recessed areas will be totally green. Let's do that. I want to do that but with this one. Sand it down. I suppose you could. I'm not going to that much trouble. Hi, Safia, though. <laughs> yeah, this was a like a total experiment, so I'm not going to be doing that. But, yeah, I could. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'll use the crapola. I'm going to have to get some clean water. I have totally contaminated all my waters now. I could actually mix some of that Enchantress in with it because that dark green is so pretty. All right, I'm going to. All right. I guess we just jump right in, huh? Sorry. Camera went wackadoodle. If Robert saw that, he would freak out. He'd say, you're going to break that thing that I fixed through your camera. And I'd be like, oops. I don't know. This isn't going to work the same because the um, the gauze is absorbent. So it's going to look, I mean, I'm going to end up painting this whole thing green. I may be really sorry I did that. I'm pretty sure I am. 
I'm going to have to add some of the burnt sienna and stuff back in because, yeah, I'm going to be sorry that I ended up doing that because it's not going to work the same. It's really not. I have to get something that is not. Well, but no, I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, I'm not going to cover the whole thing, but I am going to put a lot of green. Oops, sorry. I definitely have this camera in a whole different place now. So let me fix it for you guys. Shoosh it up. Yeah, that will soak a lot of the top surface and leave most of it in the valleys. Or towel before it dries. Yeah, I, I don't think because it's absorbent. I mean, it's still going to be okay. Um, as absorbent as that gauze is, yeah, you're not going to pick much up for sure. But we can always add more to the top of it. I'm not worried about it. This one actually, but thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, I don't think magicals would work well on this either. Just thinking, what are the products? Um, like acrylic. Maybe I'll add some, I'll see what kind of acrylic inks to try and add some light back into it. That will soak a lot of, okay. No one, Eileen, she wants orange in it. You like green and orange? I got the orange out. We're going to try. I'm just cleaning up a little bit of this mess around here because it's starting to get me nervous. <laughs> like it is a mess. All right, here we go. Sorry, this is kind of my OCD. I get to a point where it's like, oh. Do something. Do something about this. Okay. That's better. I can deal now. No, I can't add pink. A darker green than that even? I don't know. If, if I went darker, it's going to look about black is what is going to happen. Where did my rag go? There it is on the floor. Hi, Teresa. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the orange actually looks good with that background brown. So, um, So I can soften up some of the green if I want. Chat is freezing and then spewing out a bunch of items all at once that are old replies. That's weird. I know people were saying they were having a lot of buffering at Dee Dee's this morning. I didn't have one bit and I, I, I'm not having any problem with my actual internet. 
Um, since I got the new internet, I'm not having any trouble with that. Um, this really looks like old rust. And I'm thinking maybe I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Green and terracotta, yeah. It looks old, and just the nature of the gauze looks kind of old and grungy. And if the green mixes with this yellow, you're going to end up with a lighter green anyway. And I probably will go over this with some of the, let's see what other colors we've got. What the hell? We can't dance, so it actually is looking like a mossy kind of forest, doesn't it? Oh, I got some. Oh, I got some of that gold on the box. I was gonna say there's something sticky on this dang box. Some of that gold. Cleaning it up. Don't want it on my box. I like my box pretty. All right, let's see what other colors we've got. Um, well, I'll check and see if they're even workable. Yeah, the black, look at the black is very nice. So that is doable. It's not really black. It's It comes out a real gray. Hematite. Um, okay, this may be the color, this green, if it's still usable. This one, I could make this usable. So would have been cool to have some left white to start with and adding color, then distressing with light translucent layers of sienna at the end if you want to age it. Well, we can always try it another time. Okay, the purple is garbage. I have a red. I don't know. This is a really, really old one. Yeah, it's going to be really hard, but who knows? I'll try. And then this blue, I hope this blue isn't bad because the blue, yeah, it's pretty hard. So I don't know. Some of them are going to work. Some of them are not. The green, I know I can get to work. The um, hematite, I guess, a brighter color like the green. All right, let's try the green. Um, I think it will look really good with these colors. And then, um, was it the silver? Yeah, that one I can get to work as well. So we have four choices um, of these. I think, Eileen, I will probably be picking up some of those Finnebar, Finnebar um, rubs. I really do. Um, I picked them up the other day and then went, oh, you have rubs and you don't use them. But now that I know that some of these are crap, I can go, woohoo, I get new ones. <laughs> Yay, my art supplies went bad. I get to buy new. That's crazy. That is utterly crazy. We're going to try that green, Eileen. I'm going to do it with a baby wipe, I think. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, try and get some of those. I haven't been in Michael's in I don't even know how long, honestly. Um, after my Hobby Lobby hauls, I was just like, well, you don't need anything for the rest of your life, which is probably true. But most of that stuff that I bought to experiment with um, I have, in fact, used and experimented with it. So, um, yeah, this is going to rub.
and I'm using a baby wipe to moisten it. Um, but yeah, this is this is rubbing just fine. Hmm, where can I put that? Right there. Don't throw them out. I'll pay postage fees. Oh, I won't send them. I won't throw them out, Suze. Um, I'm going to do some online research because honestly, if, if they went bad, I'm sure people have figured out the resurrection recipe. I just got to go out and find it now. But see, that's also the kind of stuff I love is um, figuring it out myself, you know, even if I have to break off part of it and do my own. See, that one needs to be glued down a little bit. Um, I'll do it with the matte medium. This one's really cool now. I like this green that I put on top. It really looks um it really looks kind of mossy, like a forest floor or something. It really does. It looks very cool. Yeah, that's awesome looking. And I might go back now, you know, after they dry and I kind of get a feel for them. I may go back in with some darker brown or whatever and um, disguise certain areas. In fact, I'm almost sure I will. So, yeah, that one I'm going to set aside. But that one really looks like a mossy um, forest floor for real. All right. What color do we want this one? Oh, no, she talked with the owner. Oh, you know what? Josie, it seems like I remember that. You on your cellular device. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. Hello? Darn it, nobody there. Yeah, so we could jack with them on this fine day. <sighs> Janet likes to trash treasure art supplies. Yeah, just figure them up, figure it out, you know. The mossy floor is your favorite so far. This is actually my favorite so far. The brown. It's very plain, but it's like the depth is just so obvious all right this one is the spackling um before we get started do yellow on this one we can do some yellow and we haven't done the eggshell yet either we have eggshell um what was this one this is the sand one, and this is the coffee ground, and then just the plain spackling. Now, the spackling, I'm wondering if Magicals would work on it. Let me think about it, because the spackling would, as a rule, be absorbent. I built myself a little corner here. I'm going to go get fresh water. So the magicals on top. Okay, we 
we got clean water. And one hour. Okay, gold, royal blue, and burgundy. Blue, burgundy, and gold. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, what products I think would work the best with this? Um, I don't really have a royal blue magical, but see, I used the dark blue magical. I'll pull out that first one I did, and it's still really, really wet. Um, this is the first one I did with the toilet paper. It's still sopping wet, but it has potential. It's more work for sure. Here is the, the glass beads. Um, I think what really makes them cool in the end is when I brush something over on the top of these. So um, this one came out real dark, in my opinion. I like it, but it's just real dark. And it feels very much like plastic. Um, you like the bright colors? See, I'm kind of a bright color person, too. It's, well, I like that brown a lot. Oh, see, I don't know. Um I'm just looking what colors we've got in the magicals. I'm not sure how the magicals would behave on the spackling. Um, I'm trying to think. Don't have royal blue. But really, in my opinion, the ones that have really kind of come out the best are the watercolor ones. They really are. Um, Let me see if I have royal blue. I actually like the royal blue, royal blue, burgundy, um, gold idea. I'm just, I'm not sure if I have a good color selection for that. That would be a good red, I think. Um, but see, the blue and the red are going to make purple again. Let's see what we got here. Um, looking at our color choices real quick, seeing what we got. Tropicals may be our best because these two colors together, this blue, this, I don't think they call it burgundy, but um, this blue and this red is what I'm thinking. Try the Jane Davenport watercolors. Oh, you know what? I do have some of the, the, I don't, they're smelly. What about white FW ink mixed with two other colors? Um, you can throw Adolf Hitler out for good. Whoever that dumbass is. You don't have to time him out. He's out of here. Just somebody that stupid needs their ass kicked out. Sorry, I just had a little moment there. Um, well, and another thing I have that we could play with is the, um, I do have the Jane Davenport liquid. Oh, you know what? I forgot about these. Okay, we're doing these next because we want to. Um, we have the Dr. Ph. Martin Hydras. So let's give those a go. Um, 
And see, I open that container where all the watercolors are. And oh my gosh, it's just like stinky. Can you guys just boot him forever? Ban him forever. Thank you, Jean. Yeah. Kick his ass out. Bye. See you later. All right. Here, we've got some, um, they call it, I can't read it. Quinacridone magenta, which is very close to the Bombay inks. And then the blue, um, probably phthalo blue. Yeah, let's do those two colors and gold on this. And let's see. Um, I do like these hydrous watercolors a lot, you guys. Um, <clears throat> what is stinking? Oh, the um, the Jane Davenport sprays, or not sprays, um, inks in the bottle. These incredible inks. They've um, they've got an odor attached to them, and. I think it goes away as you use them, but when they're all in this container together and then it's enclosed and then I open it, it's just like, oh my God, that stinks. Um, but it's intended to smell good. <laughs> like they're fresh cotton, you know? What, how the hell do you know what fresh cotton smells like? You know, for real. You're using these hydras today? Jean, um, I like them. I think they're versatile and fun. So I need to dry that paintbrush out really good because I want it pretty, pretty dry. Yeah, no, they're in, it's not really stinking. It's just there's a lot of odor, and I am not very odor tolerant. Okay, so you're going to compare them to the Sargent Art Liquid Watercolors. Oh, cool. Well, I'll be probably cooking dinner for while you're streaming, but I will be there. Because, again, I would do the whole thing in, like, a real dark, dark, dark color so that the crevices stay real dark and then work my way out but I can't do that because this spackling is going to be very absorbent so wherever I put the color is where it's going to live forever cotton is a plant maybe it's the flower yeah I don't know but like sometimes it's like who made up what fresh cotton or yeah I know what lavender smells like or lilac or something like that Okay, on this, I may put it on and then try and dab it off. Maybe that's what I could do so that the dark stays down in the crevices. Let's go ahead and lift it off. Put it on and then lift it off. But then it stays real dark down in the... And this, parts of it will come off as I'm messing with it, and that's fine. Screw the lid back on so you don't have bad accidents. CB got real quiet. What is CB doing? She must be working on something. Now I'm just putting this on randomly. First, so that they will run. I did not, Eileen, or when Elaine and Eileen are here together, I really have a hard time. I did not because this speckling 
is going to be real, real absorbent. I guess what I could do. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put some red on, Eileen, and then we will spray it. Um, and see if we can get it running. Um, Cause see where the red and the blue meet, we're going to get purple. Just know it. That's what's going to happen. Lesson in color theory 101 right there going on. Let's spray it and see what we get. It is cool when it runs. Now, that's one thing is it ran down in the crevices and did what I kind of wanted it to do. So that's cool. I'm here watercolor like CC. Oh, cool. I just hadn't seen you chatting in a while. Wanted to make sure you were still here doing okay. All right. So this is kind of cool because this is kind of what I think Eileen had in mind. Can you see it, how it's running? Clean the paintbrush because now it's gone totally purple. And I'd rather it mix on the art rather than outside, right? So we'll put some fresh out. Yeah, this is kind of cool after it ran a little bit. And I'm not using a huge amount of this. These are not huge vials, but I'm not using a lot of this either. Hi, Leather and Jade. I saw you at Dee Dee's this morning. Welcome. Dee Dee has a huge, huge, huge number um, of color books. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Golly. It's like, holy crap. And then bring that other stack over there. It's like, OMG. This could actually use a third color, too. I, oh, you guys wanted gold. Because I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to let it run again. But I want to keep some of the red. I don't want it all running together, you know? That blue really is pretty, I have to say. Yeah, I love it when it runs too, Eileen. We're going to do that on the eggshell one next. So be picking out the colors you want on that eggshell one because I think it's going to be cool. I'm a little um, worried that that one's a little bit fragile. I mean, I tried to get some um, good, good stickage on that, but I'm really afraid. Um it's fragile and I don't want to break it. So, um, yeah, this is cool when the water run, when the colors run. So, um, and this one I will put gold or some other color on top. I want one where I can use that black on top too. Yellow and black for the eggshells. Ooh, green, blue, and orange. Oh my God. Dee Dee does need a room just for her color books for real yellow and black hmm <laughs> I'm not sure about the yellow black and the reason is is because if the colors run um yeah yellow and black are not going to make a pretty color and and see that's this I think the secret behind this is you've got to use colors that are going to mix well and be pretty at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dry this, see if I can keep those um, from running too horrible. They're watercolors, so they're going to do what they're going to do. Um, white, indigo, and pale blue. Picola, that one could be awesome.
I want more dark down in there, though. Ah. Hang on. I'm fixing something that I just think is ugly. somewhat you know and i i guess you could do spray inks there's so many different products you could use on this really um i'm gonna kind of get rid of some of that i think all right here we go And remember, too, the colors dry more dull when you're looking at here. You can see it into the black. Color to the top and kind of yellow on the yellow on yourself. Wait until you see what it's like. That's a whole lot easier said than done. I mean, I suppose if I had all day to do it, it's doable, but yeah, that's. A whole lot easier said than done. This is, um, because it is spackling, it's kind of bouncy. Feels different. All right, I'm going to. use this um i'm gonna put a light color on the top of this because this one has gotten a little bit dark and i think the light on the top will be really really pretty color theory helps here and i think less is more to kind of thing uh, hi azure by the way um yeah i i agree color theory is when you're doing something like this it's invaluable um you have to know which colors are going to um to work well you just you do that's that um yeah the light color on this is definitely going to save it well, good. I'm glad these Inca Golds have finally come in handy. I mean, I've used them on other journal pages, but yeah, they're perfect for this kind of um, application for sure. And this white is working. It's actually silver. They call it old silver, but it's working beautifully for this. This one looks like walls of a cave to me now that with the light on it. What's the deal with Kimberly? I have to find out. Hang on. Paul and I are celebrating at the end of the year talking with dogs. Aww. Yay, you, Kimberly. Happy 30th anniversary. That is so awesome. If my husband had lived, um, we would be celebrating what, 32 years? No, more than that. Hang on. No, yeah. Why was I thinking it was more than that? We were married. Oh, because I'm not adding the five years that we were hanging out together before we decided to take the big leap. Yeah. We would have been celebrating our 32nd anniversary later on this month. 10 days from now, in fact, <laughs> that was a, an awesome day. It really was probably one of the very best days of my life. I don't mind saying that. 
And it was an awesome, awesome, awesome day. We are so happy together. Always have been since we were young. That's great, Kimberly. If your hubby lived, it would have been your 50th next year. That, see, I, I love that. I love people who can endure because marriage is not easy. Um, and especially if you have kids, it it's just not easy. It's hard. You have to compromise. You have to work with that person. Um, so I really admire people who respect each other enough that they can make it through tough times because that's really, I think, what it all comes down to. Um, this looks like I have too much white on it, but I really don't. Um, I can brush off a little bit, but when you see the valleys, then it's like way cool, way, way, way cool. And I can add, oh, maybe that's what I want to do is add some red back on top of this silver. Oh, that's pretty. But, you know, I could, just talking about that could make me sad. But then on the other hand, I don't get sad because um, the one thing I think for sure is lucky to have had him at all. So if it was 19 or whatever it turned out to be, um, we were just lucky to have had the time that we had. So I'm not going to bemoan what we didn't end up with. I'm going to be really happy for what we had. Um, I think that's really the best way to look at loss is don't bemoan what you don't have. Um, be joyous for what you did have. I have been doubly blessed, CB. There is absolutely no doubt about that. And there is not an, a day goes by that I don't thank God for that. Believe me. Um, I absolutely. Ron was heaven sent. Um, yeah, I believe that. And I'm just crazy enough to believe that if Jim Young husband if Jim Young had anything to do with it he brought Jim or Robert Vaughn to my front door and Jim would have been like that Jim um Jim would have well I know he he told me one time that he wanted me to remarry um you know if the sur he said if the surgery doesn't go well I want you to remarry I want you to go on and I was stubborn. I was like, we're not having this conversation. Shut up. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but I honestly believe that if, if Jim could have, he would have absolutely sent Robert Bond right to my front door. Because he would want me to be happy. It is a good formula for keeping your head above water. Absolutely, Safia. I thank God each and every day. Yes, I absolutely do. You've been happily crying all week. We watched our wedding video and I bawled all the way through it. Oh, that's fun. I was watching something the other day. It was a, a wedding on TV. And... Um, I'm sitting there. I don't even know these people. And I'm tearing up over a damn wedding on TV. It was a, like real people, but it was a real wedding. It wasn't like a soap opera wedding. It was a real wedding. But I thought, why are you crying for these people? You don't even know them. Next week, he could turn into a serial murderer and who knows? Not really. But yeah, I cry at weddings. I'm a sap. I am an absolute sap. Yeah, I like that one with the white on top. It's absolutely, totally different than any of the others that we've done. So that's cool. All right, here's the eggshell one. And this one has a lot of dimension. Lots of cracks and valleys and um, like it looks like hidden areas. Um, this one is fragile. This is not one is going to be able to take a lot of beating until I get the um, 
Matt Medium on it. You cried every week watching Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> since, since the door was open, I would like to share if it's okay with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead, Josie. I'm not sure what to do with this one. I would like to do it um, with some dark, but I want to be able to wipe off. What? Because um, I like that darn brown one so much. Um, and this one has so much dimension but I'm afraid to just put black on it. The base of this one is gesso um, thickened with baby powder with eggshells put on top. Um, spray it first and add watercolor. Okay, all right, we can do that. This one, I don't mind if it gets soft and soft and soft and soft and wet. So this one could be a good magical one, really, because the water will sit right on top of it. So this could actually end up being a good magical one. Let's see what color magicals we've got that we could use. I do have the black magicals. Should I do the black magicals? Use burnt umber acrylic and have a baby wipe on and wipe as you go. Yeah, what I said, I keep it very wet so it flows into the valley. So that's what I'm thinking. Janet, Joyce wants you to use the hematite rub. Okay, I will. I am going to do that. Um, I may not be able to do it on this because the eggshells are kind of fragile. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to get this so saturated. I'm going to put the black magicals in and then I'm going to absorb everything on top. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. Well, worst thing that can happen, I'm going to have to feed Robert more eggs. I've never really used these Black Magicals because they really, now of all the things, the Black Magicals really scare me. My daughter lost her heart cancer yesterday and I just never thought I would share my pain. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for you. And I wish I could just hug you to death right now. Josie. But you know, this is, and, and I have experienced a lot, a lot of loss in my life. And I, I don't like for these shows to turn into bummers, but I'm glad you shared with us. I'm glad you trusted us enough to share with us, frankly. Um, but while you're in the midst of loss, it's so, so, so utterly hard. And it just is absolutely the hardest thing. Um, but I truly believe that God gives us challenges um, in the form of loss, in the form of disability, um, any number of ways God gives us tests. And it's our job to do the best that we can with those tests. So, Josie, I'm, I'm sorry that you lost your daughter. But on the other hand, God absolutely believes that you can handle it. Um, This may have been a big ass mistake, Eileen, but I want the black down in the cracks and I'll pick up the rest of it off the top and then we'll go on from there. I don't know what we'll do from there, but we'll go on from there. But yeah, I truly believe you, um, you are given tests um, and he obviously trusts you a great deal. And that's what I feel about me too. You know, I've, I've suffered a lot of loss, things I've not talk to you guys about um I, I believe he trusts me to handle it and i've i've handled enough now that i trust myself to handle it i know that whatever comes my way 
I mean, that absolutely anything that could possibly happen could come my way. And I trust myself um, that I'm going to handle it. I, I, I'm not going to like it, but I'm going to handle it. Fill your cracks. Fill my cracks. I thought I did. That's what I was doing. It was filling my cracks. All right. This one is, it's actually darker than it looks on the screen. Um, and I understand the hurt, Josie. I really do. Um, I, I get it. <clears throat> so it came out kind of, um, so can you guys see the black down in the cracks? It's very cool. Um, actually, I wish there was more cracks. Look at my hands. Ugh. Um, now, the magical is dissolved. Those should be permanent. Okay, so anything I put on top should not be contaminated by the black if I get this dry. So that's a really, really good thing about the Magicals, for real. Heat gun, got to dry it. It's okay, Josie. I'm glad you trust us enough. I'm not sure what color I want to add with this. Um, because I know the black won't move now. Um, yeah, don't let my hands is in fact it's good. Um Just thinking. What would go really good on top? I'm not going to use magical. Joyce is saying yellow. And I, I'm thinking I wouldn't mind yellow, Joyce, except that. yellow all right that is really hot right now so we're gonna let that cool um i think it is pretty dry um not necessarily down in the cracks which means that black could go ahead and move so i can't put yellow on here wet because it's gonna trash out the black you know what we're gonna put this one aside and let it dry more completely because if I put yellow on top of this now, I know that the wet and I can see it's wet down in the cracks. If I put wet yellow on this now, it's going to end up a big mess. I can put some of the silver on top, but I, I was thinking um, if I did a layer of a light color, say yellow, for example, and I could get it to dry yellow. And that's why I'm considering using acrylic paint. Because it will, um, it will stay yellow. But then I could um, put this hematite um, Inca gold on top of that. The the top, you know, hit the tops of that, so that you've got dark, light, dark, and that might look really cool. But that's why I was thinking. Um, I might get some, rather than using watercolor, which um, 
yeah, I'm going to get it out right now, Eileen. Or yeah, I'm going to get it out and we're going to do that next. So I don't forget because I can get that in the mail this week. Um, but what I'm thinking is if I use acrylic paint, um, it will stay yellow. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to try it. Worst case, I have to rub it off and we're going to try acrylic. Okay. Last week, I guess it was, um, Eileen was kind enough and we're going to do it again. Um, we just got sidetracked on other things, but she sent me a new five by seven jelly plate and 12 of the um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks. Well, when they finally came, because we had a little debacle with the post office, but we got that worked out and everything's fine now. And um, turns out that I had the um, all the colors of distress pads that she sent. So she has offered to do a giveaway to you guys of the distress oxides. And so it's a gift from Eileen and I'm going to pay the postage to get it wherever it's going to end up. So, and they're boxed up, so I can't really show you, but um, the colors were the first release. It's um, the one that has, oh, I didn't get them out, so I can't. Um, I can't tell you right off the top of my head, but it was the first release, I'm almost sure. But it's the release that has the vintage photo, the amber, the broken china, um, the marmalade orange, um, and the rest of them will be a surprise when you open the box. But I'm pretty sure it was the first release. So we're going to do a giveaway. Um, I think just we'll do like Dee, Dee does, just pick a number. And um, we'll use random.org. Okay, Eileen says she thinks it's the second release. And it could be. Um, so if I don't win, you can send another set. <laughs> anyway, um, the distress oxides are really fun. So you're, you're going to end up with a really fun gift. Um, whether you stamp with them, do backgrounds with them, they are really fun. So get ready. Um, where's my phone? We'll do random.org. I don't know who's been calling me. All right, pulling up random.org. And then um, I'll type in go. It's one number only. Um, it's the first person that comes closest to the number without going over. So, and if somebody chooses your number before you, oh, well, it's the first person who gets it. And we're going to do um, one through 50. There are, what, 44 people here. Um, so we're going to do one through 50. Yeah, one through 50 should be adequate. All right, so. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type in go. And when I do that, you guys can put your numbers in. Look at you smart asses. All right, put your numbers in. One through 50, one number only, first number without going over wins. And we'll just wait until, you know, no more numbers are, are popping up, so.
So good luck, everybody. All right, have the numbers stopped? All right, I'm going to go ahead. I, I don't see any more numbers coming in for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and do stop. And we will generate a number and see who won. Oh, believe it or not, number five. You hardly ever see a one-digit number. So um, we're going to let CB's number stay, too, because it could have been just lag. Actually, I think CB1. Yep, nobody picked it. CB. There you go, CB. All right, well, CB, no worries, because I have your address. I know where you're at. Um, congratulations. You will make great art with them. I know you will. So there you go. And I will try my best, CD, to get those out on Thursday morning when we're heading up to Joplin. I don't know what time his appointment is, but that's usually when I try and stop at the um, post office. Um, and then later on, after I finish these, I will do more giveaways. Um, boy, does CB know how to cheat. No, I think she honestly had a leg. Eileen, I really do. I don't think she saw the number before she put hers in. I trust C. She's an honest girl, that one. Okay, I'm going to try. I picked, and it's a bright yellow, a nice bright yellow. It's sunny day. Um, I hope I'm not sorry. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. And use, again, a makeup or a sponge applicator. I guess it's a makeup brush. Um, because I think this is the only way that the yellow is going to hold its yellow. If I do anything else, it's going to... Um, yeah, look at her. Oh, my God, Eileen. We, she thanks us and then smacks us in the face. Thank you, Eileen and Janet, sweethearts, sort of. <laughs> oh, okay. Her number came into your chat. All right. Great, Safia. That's awesome. Because I'm only going to do um, some of this in yellow. Um I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to give it a go and see. Um, and where there are cracks, I may go back in with a real fine paintbrush. And, um, and don't worry about the peaks, because the peaks I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Hit with the um, with the ink of gold. So the the it'll be a dark layer, a light layer, and a dark layer, which we haven't done that yet. So I'm kind of eager to see how this is going to work. And it's not staying quite as bright yellow as I might have. Um, how about Indian Yellow FW ink? Um, the FW inks are not that opaque, Teresa, and that's why I opted not to use the FW inks. See, like it right in there. This is what I like, where there's tons and tons of dimension, 
and you can really get, ah, oh, come on, focus, where you can really get down in there and see, you know, these are not necessarily that way, but it may look that more that way when I um, put the black on the top. But that right there is awesome. This that is perfect in my humble opinion, right in there where you've got the dark underneath. But I'm going to add some dark back on top too. And for it to be really yellow, 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 I'm going to have to do a second coat. And that's fine too. I don't care. Be doing that while Jean's doing it. And I don't have even, I don't even have an idea for dinner tonight. But I somehow get us fed every night, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it. Probably hamburgers. I was in three comments before this stop on my computer. Oh, really? Oh, there is some crazy lag issues going on, huh? Which, that has to imply that it's everybody's individual internet. That can't be mine. I don't think that, you know, you're... I don't know. I did notice what day at Dee Dee's. Um, my lag was horrible one day at Dee Dee's. And we thought we got away from the lag when we left um, Ustream. Apparently not, because that day I was just like, holy cow. Um, the chat lag was so different than what was watching on the screen, I guess, is really what it was. Um, Okay, covered all this, but you got to remember that there's another shit. Um, there's another layer coming. Um, I left some of the. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do another layer. You have to check the live button because if there's buffering, it will lag the video. Okay, so there you go. Jean just said, if you're if you're having lag issues. Um, click on the live button, which I don't have it on my screen because the broadcaster screen is a little bit different than the viewer screen. Um, over in the lower left-hand corner, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jean. Um, yeah, hover over the video screen. And if the little circle by the word live is not red, then you are not live. And then go ahead and click on that live button. It's an arrow or something, you know. Um, but just click on the word live and it catches you up. Okay, that's great to know. That is good information. So you conceivably could be at a live video or a live show and be watching what happened earlier, um, apparently. I didn't know that. I did not know. But, yeah, that's good to know. Cleaning up my little bitty mess here. And I should dry this and I could go back over it. Maybe I will go back over it with some yellow to make sure I have some really, really nice yellow <coughs> areas. Hang on, heat gun. It'll only take a minute. Because I do want some bright, bright, bright yellow. And now that I have the acrylic base on there, um, I probably could use the FW inks or something like that um, because the acrylic will act like a barrier. You know, and it, it actually any time during this, I could have put a layer of, say, matte medium or whatever on it and put almost anything on top of that. Watercolors don't like it, though. It's 
But one cool thing about the Magicals, where the yellow and the Magicals mix some of these places, I did get some really cool looking greens. Um, the, the colors did alter a little bit. So that actually came out really cool looking. Um, I don't like using it that side. Let me see. Somebody's in my breezeway hollering Robert. I'm going to have to go find out who it is. Oh, it could be my rot guys. Hang on. It might be the rot guys here to finish up the acid wash. They didn't finish it the other day. Hang on. Let me go check. I think that's who it is. Robert's out there talking to him. I guess he got home and they were already out there working. So... Cool. Yep, it's done today. I can't believe it, but it really is done today. All right, this has got to go. It's too icky. I don't like it. Um, let me get another one out. All right, now we got a fresh one. You can definitely see the eggshells um, in here. It, it's very, very cool looking. But I don't want to cover it all up because where the magicals mix with that acrylic paint is awesome looking too. This one's probably, honestly, the most unusual because it has like in here so, so, so much depth. fragile to actually live with and use. Which one that you did so far do you like the best? Um, I'm going to pull them all over here in just a minute. I've got two to finish. Um, I may, I don't know, I'll decide if I want to finish them. I pro, I could stream later on in the week to go ahead and finish them, and, and maybe I will have designed a journal by then where I could um, actually do a giveaway too. That might be a good thing. Um, this one I'm liking a whole lot. I really am. But just looking over there at them, I think my the brown one is still my favorite. I really do. I'll pull them all over and you guys can tell me here in just a minute. Let me dry this and put the hematite on top. And, um, oops, I gotta remember to put the brushes back in the water. Um, yeah, because I think when, when the metallic black gets on top, it's gonna look really cool. Which one do you like that? Well, I don't wanna ask until you can see them all, so hang on. And some of them, like that first toilet paper one, I'm going to add more to it. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. So we have the right side green. I'm 
may be full of crap most of the time. I like everything Eileen makes me do. She pushes me. She really does. I wouldn't do half the crap unless Eileen was really ragging on me to do it. I'm not kidding. No, I love when she pushes me like this. I know she's sitting down there laughing her butt off, going, ah, ha, ha. But I, this is fun for me. Because the thing is, if at the end of the day I don't like it, I put it in the trash and go read a book. Or go watch Netflix. I don't care. But I might learn something too. Like to pick up the kit if we're satisfied with his work. I am. Are you? Yeah. All right. I will write him a check right now. Sorry, guys. Got to pay this guy. They've been working all summer and they're entitled to their money at this point, but I am very satisfied with the work that they did. So I hate parting with this much money though. Oh my God. Let's see. Today is eight. Um, six, right? Oh, I'm going to feel so poor now. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure who to make it out to, so let me run it out there. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, let me let me run out there and see. I, I think I know who to make it out to, but I need to know for sure. Ugh. All right. Sorry, guys. Things always happen at like the least opportune time, right? But I don't want him sitting around waiting. You thought I was taking the wall out and trade? Actually, the guy who is the contractor is the cutest one of all of them. So... I mean, taking it out and trade. There's some of them I would have said, hell no. I'll go into the aluminum recycling business. But he's kind of cute. I don't know. He'd put your cabana boy, or at least give your cabana boy a run for his money, Eileen. Yeah, first rule is hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. I will try and remember to do that. Joycey, I'm terrible about it. I will definitely try. All right, keep in mind this is metallic too. So it may be better if I use something more black on top, but we'll see. If this doesn't work, I'll, I'll do something <clears throat> more black and permanent because you can't really see that, can you? I mean, yeah, I, I think I want something more black because this is kind of gray. It's not really standing out. I want something high, high, high. Pink. You want a cabana boy? You need to talk to um, Irene and see what she has offered the cabana boy to stay or to come back day after day. <laughs> Yeah, I think I want something dark, honestly. I do kind of like this metallic, but I want something darker. I think it'll look way cool with the dark on the top. What did you say? I don't want to 
<laughs> what, Joyce? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, I want something really, really black. Really black. Oops, 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 oops. I'll use some of this Tim Holtz pitch black um, dauber paint. I hate the daubers, but I love the paint. Um, don't even use the dauber. I think they're an absolute waste of time. Useless. There we go. You'll walk him. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on here. I'll start in the corner. So if it. See, when I say black, I want like India ink black is what I'm thinking. Just barely, barely hit the highlights here. And on this one, I definitely am going to use this black around the edges. Um, <laughs> they're changing your words, Joycey. All right, just dig in. Go for it. Whatever. I am going to, this is not the black enough. I'm going to have to get some India ink or something, I think. Actually, what would be perfect is if I put black on like a brayer. Of course, the eggshells would break, but um, put black on a brayer and just go over and hit the very, very tops of it. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome, hon. Oh, boy, I am so that off. He's a dirty boy. All right. Um, I'm going to ink the edges of this one and then I'm going to pull them all over. We've got about eight minutes left and we can look at them all. Yeah, this is not black enough. Yep. Not liking this. You'll see this one after I do the black. Um, cause it's not black enough. It's not, I mean, you can kind of get a feel for what I want, but it's just not, it's just not black enough. So I'm going to, I'm going to play with this one. Um, this is reverse. This is close over in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try something different for sure. Cause this is not what I want, but that that's cool. I like that. Um, the dirty rat has spoken. Yes, the dirty rat has spoken. He was over working at Kathy's today. Oh, I knew that payday was coming. That is painful, I tell you. All right, I'm going to pull them all over here, so I'm going to... Pull the camera way out. I have a ton of stuff to put away. All right. Here is, the, I think this is still my favorite. This one came out way cool. I would like to do a big one in this. That is awesome looking. Paper, or the toilet paper with the Magicals. Um, not loving this having this at all but it's still wet and all more and um but keep in mind i could always add something um and salvage it so yeah this one not not a huge fan we'll put that one up there and then i don't remember i think it was the beads that we did second this one i'm definitely going to add something to um What did we use on this? I'm just wondering if I went ahead and wet it now, if these colors are going to run. 
because I don't remember what we used. Some of them are running. The green ran. Um, they're pretty much staying put, though. So if this is going to get altered, it's going to get altered um, by something that I add to. And I may or I may not. Um, I think the beads would actually be cool if you just did a flat layer on of them or added the beads to something else. Maybe I'll add the beads to the toilet paper. Um, but yeah, this is okay. Not great. Next one, I think we did. I like this one. This is the gauze. Um, with the string on it. This one will look really, really cool um, after I get matte medium on it and it kind of all levels out. This one's going to look awesome. Which one, Dorothy? This one with the glass beads? It's kind of cool. It, it definitely feels like plastic, no doubt about that. And then I'm not sure what we did next. I think the next one was the moss one. This one definitely looks like um, moss in the forest for sure. It's cool looking. Way cool looking. <clears throat> Thanks for coming, Lynn. I'm glad you could make it. You like the glass bead one too? I'm going to do another experiment with the glass bead one. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. This moss one is way cool looking. I don't know who asked for the magenta blue, but this one is where I put the white on the top or that silver on the top. It's very cool looking. I didn't leave as much of the original showing through here. Um, yeah, this one got more colorized. I mean, you can see the original color a few little places, but Maybe I got a little carried away with color in this one. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's it's cool looking for sure. So I'll just put them out like this. This is definitely my favorite, the toilet paper one. And it's got texture where it, it's spongy kind of so I I like that one and then here's the yellow one the eggshell one and it's cool too it really is I don't know these have been fun as hell that's all I gotta say so now I do need to take another picture for a thumbnail um but I I kind of think this is my favorite and then there's two left to do. This is the sand one, and it's going to be very cool. And then this is the coffee ground one. Um, so they're going to be really cool. Um, I may, before I come back to finish these, do a couple more. I'd like to do another toilet paper one, I think, in a larger format. Um, and I'd like to do a bead one. Um, well, I don't, I don't know. Um, but this would be really be cool too, is if I put the beads like through a stencil thing, um, because the beads really stick out in this, like the, the colors went around the beads. And so the be little beads are sticking up. Um, they're really cool. So I would like to do another bead one. What was the first one you're not sure about? It was the this is, toilet paper. This is the toilet paper one. Um, and the, it actually feels really good, but it's not dry yet. So I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and probably add more to it. Um, but then I think I will design something that was pleated toilet paper. Um, I will design some sort of journal. Um, what 
Woody's will be the cover. Um, I'm not sure how I'll fix it, probably back here, but I will put these on some sort of chipboard or something um, to give them a little bit more substance. Um, and then I'm not sure if the binding, if I'll do an elastic binding or what. The buttered toast one needs strawberry jelly on it. The buttered toast. What's buttered toast? This is my absolute favorite, though. This is awesome looking. I just like the colors. The, um, the blue is so subtle. Like, you can't hardly see the blue, but it's just there, and it's so subtle. Are the glass beads sea beads? I don't know. Um, I just bought the, it, I think it's Liquitex brand glass beads glass bead texture piece, and I don't even remember what I bought it for. I bought it for something specific, I think. Um, the yellow one. Okay. This one needs strawberry jam on it. I don't know. I think it needs something really dark on top of it. Um, it feels really awesome. It really does. Looks like a flower garden. You think it needs strawberry jam on it? I don't think so. I think it needs something really, really dark. But I'm going to have to figure out how to get the dark on it. But even if it, if I didn't do anything else than just that right there, it still is very cool looking. I'm just not sure how state, you know, how durable it will be. It will be durable after I get matte medium on it. That's for damn sure. It's got some sharp edges. But, you know, I mean, I'm pressing on it trying to break the eggs off. And the brown one looks like a flower. This one. Yeah, kind of, I guess. I don't know. I love this one. I really love this one. Use a small round brush to apply color on the yellow one. Use a small round brush. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but I think I will. So anyway, you guys, we're into jeans time now. So I will be um, cleaning up this mess. And I will take some photographs and put them on Twitter and Instagram. And um, this has been really fun. I'm going to do more of it. Um, thanks for coming, Judy. Yeah, I'll, I'll post some photos on Instagram and Twitter, and then we'll finish those other ones in a day or two. So go watch Jane. She's going to watercolor today. She's going to compare, um, a couple of student grade watercolor products, I think. One of them is the Hydras, and one is um, Sergeant Arts. Um, so yeah, I'll marry something. And thanks for coming. It's been fun. I'm a mess, and I may be a mess the rest of my life from the looks of things. So thanks for coming, you guys. We'll catch you later. Bye now.